Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. If you're currently paying these platforms to host your videos such as Vimeo or Wistia, you might be overpaying for these subscriptions. These platforms are not cheap. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a hidden gem that I found that's going to transform the way you host your videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this hidden gem that I found really powerful online hosting platform called Publitio. I discovered them a few days ago, decided to try it out. And guess what? It works amazingly well. As you can see here, Vimeo Pro account charges $24 per month billed annually. This only gives you 20 gigs per week versus the business plan charges you $55 per month billed annually. You can have no limits in terms of weekly uploads. On the right hand side, this is Wistia's pricing chart. You can see the charge pro plan $99 per month and this is 50 videos only and that's why i mentioned publitio is a killer or alternative for wistia and vimeo so this video we're focusing on the features of publitio and i'm going to show you guys the dashboard side of things as you can see here publitio is a cloud-based storage platform that comes with a global cdn infrastructure basically your video will load super fast on a global scale and on top of it they support video hosting image hosting audio hosting and if you use wordpress for your website you want to offload some of the media and give your server less of a stress, you can totally go with the Publitio's WordPress media offload feature here. To the bottom, we have HLS streaming. Basically, HLS streaming stands for HTTP live streaming. It's a more secured protocol to stream online. And from there, we'll have video processing and a watermark. Me, myself, I'm a videographer. If I want to deliver to a client, I might want to watermark the video before the proof for delivery, right? And to the bottom, we have analytics, GPU, video conversion, video on demand and a whole bunch of other features overall it's a pretty powerful tool I randomly discovered this page basically you can build your own plan and do a comparison to see what the cost for these platforms are just randomly putting some numbers here if I do bandwidth for 30 terabytes and a storage space for 30 terabytes here's a comparison in terms of the cost if you want to go with the Amazon AWS you end up paying three thousand two hundred ninety dollars and if you want to go with the GCP 3400 Publitio is one of the cheapest and more affordable options among all these hosting platforms. And here's how the dashboard looks like. Everything is straightforward and super easy to use. Under management, here's our first option called the files. Here is where you manage and upload all your video files. Or you can create different type of folders and you can upload files directly. Here's the two videos I uploaded earlier today. I can directly open it as a new URL. You can see here, this is the video and it's MP4 file right here. And now let's upload a brand new video file. I wanna show you guys how the upload process goes. We're gonna click on upload files and choose Choose the video we want to upload. The first thing you want to do is you can click on more options to expand options here. So the first option is set the file or video privacy to public. If you want to show this video in a general public, then you want to turn it on. Otherwise, you can turn it off and it will be a private video. And then enable HLS video encryption. When you turn it on, it will add an extra layer of protection when it's used for streaming videos online. And the third option here, if you turn it on, it will basically transform your video into different sizes. If, for example, if you upload 4K or 1080p, it will also create different versions or different variations of it, such as 480p, 720p. So you have a different micro files. It'll display different resolution to the person who streamed your video based on the Wi-Fi connection. So from there, I have the fourth option is to allow download via player. Definitely want to turn that off if you don't want people to download your video. And the last option here is to use file name for public ID. You probably want to turn it off. So if you turn Turn this on, it will use your file name as the final destination for this video. From there, we can have the option to add the watermark and I'll show you guys in a moment. Everything is all good. From there, I'm ready to upload. I'm going to click on start uploading. Once you finish uploading the video to the right, you can click on view. On this page, it's showing all the details on this file. You can see file type, size, duration, dimensions, and a whole bunch of these features, right? Towards the bottom, you can see the file analytics, how many requests we had on this file, and the total bandwidth spent on this file so so pretty detailed stuff and these two are the videos i uploaded earlier today and you can see i have a 12 different versions created underneath this one video type if i click on this 12 versions let's see what kind of versions it created so it created a 480p 39 megabytes 720 360 1080 however keep that in mind if you do create different variations it will take up your storage room and now let me show you guys how to in 
embed a video onto any website or lender, any sort of a web builder. To the right, three dots, you can see embed player code. Click on it once, it will load up all different type of coding options. We have iframe, we have source, and we have a link. So majority of the time, you probably end up using the first option. This is recommended option. Click on copy iframe. This is a landing page builder called Swipe Pages. It really doesn't matter what kind of builder that you use. You can be using ClickFunnel, Wix, WordPress, Elementor. So what I did here is I created a HTML code option here. All I need to do is copy paste the iframe code I created earlier, click on save and publish. As you can see here, I refreshed the page. The video has been embedded perfectly. Remember, we created different variations for this video. That's why if I click on the settings, you can see 360p, 720 and 1080p. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Now let's come back to the dashboard. Under manage, we have a second option says versions. This is all different versions we created for all our videos. And the third option is to create your own player. For skin, I'm gonna go with blue and autoplay, I wanna turn it off. Default quality options, you can go with the 480 or 720p. And the rest I'm leaving as a default. And player size, I wanna do responsive because people might be streaming on mobile or desktop and I wanted to adjust the size accordingly. Fourth option here is to insert ads into your video. You might collaborate with some other promotion programs. So by streaming your video, you can insert ads and to monetize the content of yourself. To the bottom here, we have watermark options. This works extremely well. If you are a videographer or photographer, you want to protect your online content. You don't want people just to strip your content and post it on the internet. So watermark is one of the amazing features I really, really like about this platform. Creating a watermark is super easy. You just need to choose a file. Maybe this is a PNG file. In terms of position, you can put it in the center so people cannot just crop the video and keep using it, right? And then padding and all that. So to the bottom here, we'll have analytics. Analytics shows how many requests in total and total bandwidth, you can see here 1.23. And so going to show you more detailed options, including top formats, top country, and top system. The last option here is the settings. Here you can change your avatar and your account information. And the third options here is one of my favorite features here is called a scene name. So by default, all your media files are served underneath this domain. Basically, it's media.public.io. And if you want to truly wide label the entire platform here and to host your files underneath your own domain, for example, media or video.domain.com. So that domain is your own domain. And there is a detailed tutorial to show you guys how to achieve that. Fourth option here, a lot of platform already support. It's called a domain protection. This again, adds another layer of protection just in case people have your code and they can't really embed on their own website because the domain doesn't match. If you turn this option off, you can embed the video without any domain restrictions. And now let's quickly talk about the pricing before we wrap up this video. Publitio comes with two different pricing options. First one is a premium plan. This is only $9 a month. It comes with a 14 day trial. You can have a 50 gigabytes of storage space, 100 gigabytes of monthly bandwidth. It comes with five different players, five different ad tags, watermarks, and one custom domain. And let's say you used up all your 50 gigabytes storage, and then from there you can pay as you go. Basically, it's a 0.035 pre gigabytes in terms of storage space and a 0.075 pre gigabytes in terms of bandwidth. And now if you're a big fan of lifetime deal or lifetime access to certain products like I do, and then definitely don't miss out on this crazy deal that's a 70% off. Basically, it's a $99 one-time payment. This is a lifetime premium account that comes with 50 gigabyte, 100 gigabytes, same as a premium. So if you use this platform for 11 months or more, you might want to consider a lifetime deal. On the other hand, you might want to just jump on for a month or two, really fill out the platform before you switch to a lifetime deal, you can always go with the $9 per month option. If you seriously want to check out Publitio, the link is in the description below. By using this link, you are supporting me and supporting this channel as well. Each video on this channel takes me about one entire day to make. So it will be really appreciated if you guys use that link to sign up for Publitio. And now let me ask you a question. Overall, what do you think about this platform? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think the pricing option is affordable comparing with Vimeo and other platforms? And what do you think about the features? Do you think this is powerful? enough and drop some questions or some comments below. I'd love to give them a read. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.